Welcome to Sea Creatures You Might Like with your favorite dyke. Today we're talking about the weasel of the sea, the sea otter. Now when I say weasel of the sea, I mean it. These guys are in fact part of the weasel family. Does that make them weasleys? You would think because they lack blubber, live in pretty cold water, and look like they would walk around on land all the time, that they would be, but really, most of them will never come to land because they have everything they need out in the ocean. They typically live in kelp forests, and you can see this one has kelp wrapped around himself, and they eat the bottom dwellers in this area, so crabs, sea urchins, mollusks, so they are an essential part of this ecosystem. Also, how they eat on their backs like this is pretty cute. And they're able to do this because they are awesome swimmers, but also because their fur is so dense that it traps air and makes them more buoyant. There is an estimated 1 million hairs per square inch on a sea otter, which also makes it pretty water resistant. And it also helps the cute little babies stay buoyant and not drowned, but sometimes they do drift away. 